All right, Bill, you guys had a nice week off, yeah. a chance for some of your injured guys to recuperate, and yeah. you know you had some things you really wanted to work on in practice, so how are you feeling after this week of uh, no matches? Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, I think the main thing is the antibiotics kicked in on everybody, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, our trainers got to work on everybody. Uh, I think Josh Kirkner is going to be 50-50 this week. Uh, which is much more accelerated than we thought previously. So that's good news on the whole. Uh, I don't know if he'll be available this week to play, or and if so, how effective he will be. He's done some limited stuff in practice, and, and, we'll, and he's improving greatly. But uh, we'll see how he is. Uh, everybody else is back to it and seems to be healthy and recovered. And, uh, you know, the last few practices we've had, we've, we've kind of looked like us. Uh, and, and so it, it's exciting going into this week to kind of have all your guys back and, uh, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. I mean, it's going to be, uh, a real test on Tuesday night and that's all we're focusing on right now. Uh, and then when that's done, we'll, we'll focus on, on, on our next opponent. But, uh, right now, uh, you know, Irvine is, is could be playing the best volleyball in our conference. Uh, and it's going to be a big challenge, and we will need the whole village for sure. So, uh, <laughs> so we're we're happy they're they're almost all back. So speaking of Irvine, since we're focused on yeah. just the next match, you have them coming up tomorrow. Yeah. You beat them in their barn earlier in the season. It was yeah. a dramatic five set match. So yeah. obviously you know they're going to be fired up. Yeah, you know they're right now they're sitting atop of the league. They have the most wins of everybody. There's about four teams that have two losses. Uh, and it, but they have more wins. Uh, they, I, I can't imagine they'll be flat. No one ever is when you come to play USC. That's kind of the burden you bear when you when you sign on to come play here. Is you're going to get everybody's best effort, no matter what the night, no matter who the opponent. Uh, and and they are one of the most skilled and talented teams in the conference. Uh, they're by far the best serving team in the conference, uh, and they're one of the most physical teams in the conference. They're 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 tall. They're strong. Uh, they jump well. They they hit hard. And they they serve hard, and and they do it consistently. And they have guys that have experience and extended postseason experience. So, you know, uh, they're gonna understand the process by which they have to figure out where they're at in their season, and uh, figure out how that's gonna blend with their matchups with us. And and they're gonna come at it. You know, this is a this is, you know, every match is the same in the sense that you just got to lace it up and do what you do. Uh, but, you know, I imagine they're going to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more refined and probably ready to go than they were last time. Not that they were not looking at us strongly or anything like that. I, I just think we were playing tighter and more together earlier in the season than most of the teams. And then, you know, they we, we dropped off a little bit. I think we got out to a sprint, fell back to the kind of the, the peloton, if you will, and uh, now we're ready to try to make another start making another surge forward. You know, and Irvine's maybe started maybe not quite as fast, but they seem to have improved steadily little by little as the season goes on. So I, I think both our teams are going to be different versions of, of what we each saw in the, uh, you know, the first week of the season. And last question, uh, you know, real quick, you have back-to-back -back games or matches on back-to-back -back nights. Yeah. What challenges does that pose? Well, uh, you know, it's good and bad. Uh, the good side of it is you really just don't have time to think about it. You just do your thing. And, uh, you know, I use the term do what you do, and, and we use that internally to, uh, to make sure that we just focus on us. Uh, you know, and at the end of the day, if we're doing our thing really well, uh, that, you know, we're going to be successful. Uh, now the nice thing is, is we did play them back to back in the same order. Uh, I believe, oh no, we played <laughs> San Diego first, but, uh, you know, we're used to doing the back to back nights with these two teams. The geography when we're at their place usually demands that we do that. Uh, now this year, uh, the second time around when they come here, usually there's a night off in between, but, you know, we do it. We're, we're used to doing it with either BYU or Hawaii on a yearly basis. Uh, and we do have it sometimes in league. So, uh, you know, if uh, I think the stress is on the coaching staff because we basically don't have time to present the scouting report and get all the stuff done. So most of the stuff from the coaching standpoint on our second opponent will probably be done by tonight so that 
everybody's mind can be cleared and our 100% focus will be on Irvine. You know, and, and we keep the focus uh, with the players. They're not going to see anything on San Diego until, uh, until th- Wednesday morning. So uh, that, that's the challenge. It's mainly can we function without, you know, with a lot less sleep. And, you know, we've been crunching it big time here the last two days. So we'll, we'll be ready to go.